Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker, beloveds. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. I will all is blissed in your world. I will all is grounded, balanced, and in alignment for you all. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. It's been a couple of days. I kind of wanted to give you all an opportunity to kind of sift through all of the videos. That was the reason why I did the poll, do you prefer you know, the, the more lengthy deep dives, or do you appreciate, you know, these daily or every other day, uh, type of readings, the consistency of the readings. And it was actually very close, you know, um, of course, uh, my a ones, day ones, y'all appreciate the deep dives. That's how you were introduced to me. Um, but then there was also a consensus of people saying that they actually appreciate seeing those videos, um, more frequently, you know, seeing and hearing, um, the messages more frequently. So I am going to appease everyone. Uh, I'm going to do a deep dive now. And then afterwards I will do, um, you know, a shorter reading, uh, just to, you know, kind of appeal to the audience. How are we doing beloveds? Um, a lot is going on in the world and you already know, uh, it is definitely, we are the, the matrix is kind of becoming very much evident, <laughs> you know, the matrix that people are living in. We're starting to see so many rumblings and things are coming to light. So much is happening. Um, but even with all of that, you still have to, um, definitely maintain your boundaries and protect your energy, uh, not get too caught up in what news is saying or what, you know, media is talking about, because that's all propaganda at the end of the day. And they do, uh, benefit from, you know, kind of like sucking you of your energy and robbing you of that source. Um, that life force, you know, when you're focused on something, that means you're putting your energy and your attention and, you know, your, your, your emotions into it. And that is how these people, you know, literally could tap in and manipulate circumstances. So that's why I'm always, um, an advocate for, you know, just connecting with yourself, getting those divine downloads straight from source, getting out in nature, connecting with this planet, connecting with mother Gaia, daughter earth, um, doing your due diligence to make sure you're healthy, you're grounded, you're in sound mind and spirit. I stopped watching the news years ago. I mean, I tune in, keep my ear plugged to what's going on, but I don't obsessively watch it. Like some people have their news on all day, all night, all throughout the night while they're resting. And that's all they're hearing. And we all know that, you know, these messages are propagated. They've showed a gazillion videos where reporters from all over the globe are reading from a script. And when you have the media platforms owned and operated, um, funded by the same, um, big money, uh, corporations, then, I mean, uh, it, it's a no brainer that you're, you're being programmed to think the way they want you to think you're being programmed to buy the items and, and the merchandise that they want you to buy. You're being programmed to like this team purchase from this artist. It's like all pro propagation, like I said. So that's why it's very important to not submit your will to other people. It's very important to not, um, you know, idolize other folks. Um, but I digress. We're not going to get into that whole diatribe. We're going to dive right in because this is definitely going to be a deep dive for my beloved Scorp uh, Scorpios, uh, to wait. Today is Wednesday. So, um, Wednesday is the third day of the week. So we're going to see, um, we're going to see the energy pertaining to, I suppose, what you need to be planning for, preparing for, um, because I get an energy of like, you know, preparation. I, I hear preparation, um, victory loves preparation, you know? So when you are in that planning stage, uh, this is an opportunity to master something. This is an opportunity to mastermind something. So we're going to see whatever it is, uh, that you all may need to do to mastermind something, or perhaps we'll pick up on the energy of what you are already implementing, uh, to master whatever this is, whether it's asserting yourself, whether this is tapping into your divinity to create, um, whether this is you tapping into, uh, any of your, uh, business endeavors, ventures, whatever this is, cause that three does correlate with the Empress energy as well. Um, 
So we're going to tap in, um, and I got the three because I said three, today is the third day of the week, but let's dive in. Uh, welcome to anyone that may be new. Uh, my name is Q. As I said, uh, this is a platform where I do read Claire audiently. I am an empath and I'm also uh, an intuitive. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I listen to music and the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, the numbers on the cards, whatever it is, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards show and it all blends beautifully so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by never try to force anything to be your story take the parts that fit leave the rest uh, my readings are also timeless so whenever this video popped up in your feed or whenever the video has you know pulled and tugged on you to click play whether it was the title whether it was the thumbnail whether it was the timestamp that was divine timing and divine order that you've done so beloved so my a ones day ones you already know what it is love is love is love I give y'all extra love. Love is love is love is love <laughs> because I love y'all that much. I appreciate you all. I honor you all and I thank you all. And as soon as I hit that 15, um, you know, that uh, 10,500 mark, I'm absolutely going to uh, be doing a giveaway. I want to do some sort of giveaway, sweepstake something. I just want to show love, spread love. It's the Q way. So that's what I will be doing. Um, it could be in the form of a free reading. It could be an item from my shop. I'm not sure. I'll work out the deets, uh, when it happens, but I'm definitely seeing the love being rotated and I want to rotate the love right on back to y'all. I want to thank everyone who has already booked a spiritual consultation. If you're interested in doing so, you may click in the description box, the link that says, uh, Etsy shop, and it'll take you over to my shop and you can proceed with your reads there. So let's go ahead, deep dive right on into this message. But before we do beloveds, let's do some house cleaning. Ah, Shay. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So what we have playing right now is we have Toby Nwigwi, and this is called Ride. And it is currently 317 on the clock that reduces to 11. So with ride, some of you all could be from Texas. Um, I definitely feel some of y'all could be actually perhaps looking into purchasing a vehicle. Maybe some of you all are preparing or planning a trip and I'm hearing an excursion. Maybe someone has an excursion truck. Um, but I feel like you're planning perhaps even a cross country trip. Maybe some of you all are planning something for your upcoming, uh, physical day, your solar returns. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of like, you know, with ride, maybe you're taking a plane ride, you're taking a train ride, or maybe you're just getting in the car, packing it up and going on that, that crossroad country trip. Um, but I do feel like there's traveling. I do feel like even some of you all have been um, you know, on a crazy ride, you know, maybe you feel like you've been on a more merry-go-round, you know, like things have just been going around and around in circles and you're getting off the crazy train. Maybe you're getting off of that crazy ride, but I do feel a sense of travel. I feel a sense of planning. I feel a sense of like a trip that's coming up, an excursion. Um, I'm hearing even a rendezvous, you know, so this could be something that's being planned out for you for your solar return, or this could be something that you're planning for yourself, for your solar return, or just because it could just because you feel like it because you feel you deserve it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say, beloveds. But as I said, this is Toby Nwigwi and, um, 
with that ride, I do feel like some of you all are definitely, um, you know, planning some sort of trip. All right. So let's see. Somebody could be from Texas also. We got 78 spiritual career here that breaks down to 15 which is six so some of you all are in for a ride of your lives maybe you've been on some sort of journey and whatever lessons you've learned during this ride it has prepared you because remember i said in the beginning of the reading victory loves preparation so i feel like you've been preparing for some sort of spiritual career uh, to embark upon some sort of spiritual endeavor and it's going to take you on a very um, amazing ride. I feel like whatever this gift is that you will be utilizing to uh, jumpstart the spiritual career, it has something to do with your psychic uh, abilities, clairaudient abilities, clairvoyant abilities, uh, perhaps you're a scryer, perhaps you're into cardamancy, whatever it is that you do. Uh, you use discernment. You use your first eye. I do feel this is a gift that your angels have um, anointed you or have given you. You've been initiated. You've gone through a rites of passage. Um, and I feel like this is why Spirit is saying that there's something that's going to bring like emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, and joy. Um, with this six, I also feel like you'll be coming into some very strong alliances, partnerships with other like-minded individuals. Because when you think of the six, that's the lovers. Um, that's the first card that comes to me. And the lovers definitely speaks to unions. It speaks to spiritual partnerships as well. It's, it's people that you have a sense of synergy, chemistry, familiarity, commonality with these individuals. Um, the six also is showing me the six of wands. Uh, I'm seeing there's victories. I'm seeing breakthroughs. And as I said, victory loves preparation. So you've been preparing for this. This is something that you've been really mastering. It's a skill. It's a gift that you've been honing. You've been sharpening. You've been learning. You've been growing. You've been building your wealth of knowledge in that area. And I feel like you've reached a level of mastery where you are now, you know, prepared to embark upon this spiritual career. And that's powerful. And so what we have here is 63, 9, parenting. So I always look at this as, you know, you could be really uh, focused on your children. Uh, perhaps this has something to do with, you know, the relationship with your own umis, your own babas. Um, and healing that relationship and repairing that relationship is what has awakened you to what your purpose is. Um, this also could be speaking to birthing a new style, birthing something new um, that you will embark upon. So this is beautiful. So let's tap in. So let's see, what is our, and look at that spiritual partnership I was speaking to. So there's definitely some strong bonds, connections that you will be developing, forming with other like minds, as I said. So let's tap in. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. And we have Oshun playing, and this is called Aya's intro, and it's called Bout It. So I do feel like you're about what you speak about. Like whatever you've been through, you are definitely like, um, you're, 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 you don't take no mess anymore. It's almost like you have learned to not only establish boundaries, but you've also learned to stand up for what you believe in. Um, and we got this nine completion on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like you've been through some sort of, uh, something's come full circle. Something has completed, like you've completed a lesson, a karmic com um, lesson has been learned. And so with this completion, it means that you've reached that level where change now can be affected. You can start, you know, changing according to your new belief systems, ideologies. Um, you can start moving forward uh, passionately towards what you want because there's a new beginning. After this, nine, nine is the highest number and vibration of change. And so I feel like something has changed within you where you have like, you know, leveled up. I just saw 14, 14, which is five, five, that's 10. So there's an ending. That was the change. The end of the old version of you or the end of this old life. It's like there was a death or something's transformed and you've emerged someone completely different because that nine deals with the hermit and the hermit is really a wizard who goes within to seek out the answers. He quiets the outside noise because he knows the answers he or she seeks are always found within. So this is someone wise. This is someone 
spiritually wise, someone who has connected to their God frequency or their higher Christ conscious. And they're making wise decisions moving forward because they've already assessed their situation from the past or observed it, observed themselves um, by doing reflection, you know, reflective work. Uh, they could have even done some, some mirror um, some healing work with mirrors, uh, just to, you know, get that sense of, um, you know, balance restored. But there's also this feeling of like, um, positive things coming in, you know, feeling more guarded, more, more, uh, more protective of your energy this time around, uh, based off of the experiences you have just, uh, had that's what's made you a teacher maybe you're teaching others to you know put those uh, boundaries up so what i see that flew out is 96 forgiveness and remember we did see that six earlier when we started the reading so the six is absolutely saying that there is a sense of like you um because the overall energy is about you know forgiveness and forgiveness is really uh, for you, I always tell people that forgiveness isn't about the other person. Um, a lot of times in life, the way you take your power back is you have to forgive those who may never have apologized. So it's really about you um, taking your power back in that moment uh, to not need validation from anyone else to make you feel better. And I just saw 16, 16, which is seven, seven, which is 14. That's five. So this did require a lot of patience. It did require a lot of balance and healing. Um, I feel your angels have been helping you, but the five is also about maturation and growth and learning on the journey, learning on the path, learning on your way. And I feel like that's what you've learned. You've learned to forgive people who may have been very cold, very um, disconnected. Maybe they didn't appreciate you, value you, breadcrumbed you. Um, they just did not see your worth. And I feel like that was, uh, you know, the fuel that you need. Um, so that you can learn to love yourself because love is really an inside job. And even when you think of the lovers or you think of the two of cups, what's very important is um, these are two individuals and the twos represent duality. And there is a masculine and feminine on both cards, which mean that you have to be very balanced and emotionally in equilibrium, mind, body, and soul as a feminine and as a masculine first and foremost, before you could open up your heart or give your cup, your chalice to someone else. And I feel like on the card of the lovers, it's beautiful because there's an angel that's overseeing the union, which is obviously giving these two people the tutelage, the, the nourishment, the love, the unconditional love, uh, more importantly, uh, to do their work. So that, that energy really, you know, shows uh, compassion, you know, compassion uh, really, it disarms you of being a victim. It disarms you of faulting others. Um, and it really makes you take onus and accountability because uh, you can't heal something if you're constantly saying someone else did something to you or you're constantly pointing your finger at other people as the culprits when we have to take accountability for our own actions, especially as adults, whether things ended on a good note or, you know, on a high note or a, a bad note, it's like, you still have to take accountability. If someone hurt you, that is because there's something that we missed in the relationship that was obviously, um, it was toxic and we just continued to let it go on until it unfortunately, you know, exploded. But forgiveness is, you know, obviously insinuating that someone has wronged you. Someone has done something to betray your trust, to deceive you in some way. And spirit has acknowledged that you have forgiven someone. And with this forgiveness, you have victory ahead. Um, 96 breaks down to 15 at six. I feel like you have victory over some sort of negative energy um that 15 deals with the devil and i feel this was someone very deceptive someone that was very controlling or manipulative conniving someone who was very jealous even um envious someone who was very uh you know even um obsessive uh this energy here could be someone that you really um had some difficulty forgiving and i feel now that you've gotten over that hump um there's a victory ahead. There's some sort of breakthrough because we saw that completion. What I see here on the bottom of the deck, and we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. And it says 
85 follow your dream so whomever or whatever you're attracting to you this sounds like some sort of wish fulfillment something that you have prayed for asked for something that you have meditated on something that you have sent affirmations and daily mantras something that you've written down in your manifestation journals something that you have intentionally um, spoke out into the ethers there is something or someone that is absolutely coming in that you're attracting. This could be in the form of, like I said, a wish fulfilled for you. Uh, it could be in the form of a masculine because this 85 breaks down to 13, which is four. And we know 13 deals with death. So this could speak to someone who's gone through some sort of death or rebirth or some sort of transformative moment in their own lives and their own experiences. And they're coming in refined as a divine masculine. This six and this four that this breaks down to becomes 10, which is one. So there is a new beginning here that's being ushered in. And we did see that because we saw that nine completion. So the nine would insinuate something's done. If something's ending, then that means at the same time, something new is beginning. So with this 85, someone or something that definitely is bringing a major change um, into your life is coming in. You will feel like this is a wish fulfillment. This could be a job opportunity. This could be that spiritual career um, that just takes off. And, you know, you start seeing that you're, you're having more sales, um, more traffic. It's just, it's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. And the four, the emperor uh, that this breaks down to, could also insinuate it could be a masculine that could be coming in. And I hear a train going by. So the trains always represent travel. And remember, we saw um, ride earlier with Toby Nwigwi. So this could be, a, you know, divine masculine that could be at a distance that could be coming towards you. Um, this could even insinuate if you have a business. Remember, we saw spiritual career. Your spiritual career is going to take off because you're following your dreams. You're following your passion. And whenever you do something that you actually love and you put all that love, all that intention into it, and then you're also skilled and highly uh, talented, you will reap the benefits of your work, of your efforts. And I just feel like something beautiful is coming in because there's pink on the inside of this symbol, which definitely insinuates that you will be emotionally fulfilled uh, so this is beautiful so let's tap in give me one moment I gotta turn this fan on I'm already hot pardon me so let's tap in so we have Jodeci um, and this is called Fiendin but the name of the album is Diary of a Mad Band see that so Diary of a Mad Band and remember what I was saying about like you know and look what's on the bottom of the deck karmic completion so someone's definitely perhaps scribing in their diary um, Maybe that's the forgiveness because you was dealing with a very um, tormented soul is what I'm hearing. Very angry soul. Someone who kind of like, um, they just misdirected their anger, you know, projected a lot. And so it took a lot for you to forgive this person. I feel with Fenin, you know, especially with that 15 that I was picking up on with the devil, the Fenin definitely is like, that's an obsessive behavior. That's a, 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 like a obsessive and possessive behavior, uh, addictive behavior, I should say. Um, and that's typically the type of energy that a devil will have very manipulative, but there is someone going through some sort of karmic completion because what you're attracting to you, we see this karmic completion on the bottom of the deck. So someone that could be going through their own dark night of the soul journey. We did see that 13. So I do feel like someone could really be um, going through their own um, karmic ending. So these this cards want to fall, and I'm going to let it. And so we have 63 parenting. For some of you all, this could be, you know, speaking to, um, as I said, like, you know, healing, you know, those family um, connections and relationships with your own Umi and your own Baba. That could be the highlight. That's what's changing. Uh, perhaps the... Um, it's changing the dynamics within your relationships as a whole. As you heal and nurture those relationships with your own mothers and fathers, then the relationships that you start to um, cultivate with others, um, you know, with other people, you know, whether it be masculine or feminine, those relationships will be healthier, and more sustainable. Uh, this also is saying that, you know, something that you have been like creating, you know, because I, I get creative energy from this as well. 
Um, so it's like the mothering or the fathering of a particular style or of a particular um, gift. It's like you're, you're really um, guiding, you know, there's a guiding hand almost. But I, I'm just getting a strong sense. Maybe this is even the mother or father to your child or children. If you have, uh, that could be changing. Something positive can be changing. Because this is a yellow card, I always get a sense of like, you know, positive energy. Like there being some sort of clarity or better communication. Um, with the nine, I am feeling like there is uh, even just I'm seeing more of the nine of cups. Uh, you know, the nine of cups is really someone who loves themselves. Uh, someone who is taking the time now to love themselves after being very self-sacrificing, after giving so much of themselves. Now they're making it very mindful, you know, a, a very um, intentional to take care of themselves first. And so that could also be the reason why there is like healthier, um, a healthier connection, because there is no longer this you know, this, this waiting period for someone to fill your cup. It's like you're filling your own cup, if that makes sense. So what we have here is we have domestic harmony on the bottom of the deck. I mean, on the, um, for, um, who or what you are attracting to you. And we have self-discipline here, and this is how they feel about you. So they do see these changes you've made. Someone is absolutely going through some sort of breakup. This is a breakup because remember we saw 10 karmic completion. And then we also saw that there was someone fiending. So you could have someone that could be, you know, like a secret admirer. Someone could be mustering up the strength and courage to leave a situation that's very volatile, very toxic. Um, with this forgiveness, maybe this is someone you may know from your past uh, because this six and this 46 reduces to seven. So this could have been someone deceptive, dishonest. I'm seeing like the seven of swords, especially with the blue, you know, that deals with like that air um, energy. So it's like, you know, it could also deal with water, but I'm getting like the seven of, um, swords first and foremost, where I'm seeing like, there was a lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of manipulation. That could be the reason why someone wants forgiveness because they know they've played with someone's, um, mind, mind up to someone, but it also could be the seven of cups where there was a lot of options. Someone couldn't choose. They had so many options that it was very difficult. And I feel like they enjoyed having a lot of options because it made them feel, um, you know, important, wanted, desired, you know, it, it, it kind of can boost your ego. Um, when you have a lot of people kind of biting for your attention. So I feel someone kind of got, got, you know, lost in the source a little bit, how they feel about you is self-discipline. Someone definitely feels like you have a sense of self-love, self-worth, self-value. Like you take the time out to, you know, to speak positively, to, to just be humble, to be grounded. You, you, you come off as someone very wise, very experienced, very intelligent, very earthy, um, someone independent, self-sufficient. It's like, there's, there's a, a, a strength that you, you possess that's very admirable um, with the seven and this five, this breaks down to 12. I do feel someone is, is kind of like watching you from a distance. I definitely get a sense of like that hangman energy where someone's seeing you from a different light, seeing things from a different perspective, um, getting some sort of epiphany, aha moment. Um, they see looking at you with love in their heart also, because that green and the symbol definitely insinuates that someone is like opening their heart. Maybe someone will be communicating um, expressing some sort of feelings. The 12 also breaks down to the three, which is what I was breaking down earlier before we even touched the cards or touched the phone. I was definitely getting a sense because today is Wednesday that that number three would resonate. And we see three here because you got six and one, that's four, four and five. That's, um, I'm sorry, six and one, that's seven, seven and five, that's 12. And that breaks down to um, three. So we see the three here for how they feel about you. Three is also associated with the empress. Even if you're masculine, they see you as the divine masculine. They see you as someone who knows their worth, knows their value. Someone who, that's what the self-discipline is all encompassing of. It's like someone that knows their worth and knows their value um, isn't going to put up with just anything. They're going to have boundaries. They're going to establish those boundaries. They're not going to settle for anything. They're very powerful. They know their work. They're master manifestors. They're healers. They're creatives. They're breaking, you know, generational curses. It's like they wear many hats because it is that empress, emperor energy 
um, that has reached that level of self mastery and they encompass all of the skills, the attributes, the qualities, the characteristics of all of the Queens and all of the Kings. So this is a very powerful energy to be in a self discipline. It's like, you can't be moved. You can't be unearthed. Um, you can't be bamboozled. You, you, you like, you can't be duped, you know? And that's why I feel like there is this energy of, you know, the, this, whomever this is wanting to uh, come back, you know, to right a wrong. I'm getting, um, right now we got Nas and this is called the deaf. Um, who is this? What is this? I just messed up the whole playlist trying to pick up the, I'm sorry. All right. This is what I saw. So this is the definition. And this is by Nas. And Nas is from Queens, New York. Someone's name could be Nazir. I do believe that name is in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken, Nazir. Um, so let's see. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? And we have teaching and learning. That's another 12. What did I say? Someone's observing you and learning from you. And we have 88 abundance on the bottom of the deck. That breaks down to 16. That's seven. There's wish fulfillment coming in abundantly. It's coming in infinitely because I just see infinite supply with these double eights, which sideways turn into the infinity symbol. And there goes this beautiful energy of a new beginning that we were speaking to. So you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled. This is a solid pink card. This is a solid red card. The red, this one deals with the root chakra. So financially, I feel that you will be very successful. I feel business will expand. I feel your partnerships and your alliances will be very strong. Um, but I also feel you will be very emotionally fulfilled, financially fulfilled. Like I get like there's blossoming abundance. I feel there's some new beginning financially for you. You may hear from some sort of job opportunity. I'm definitely getting a sense of like just overall joy, you know, happiness contentment so we have 57 and then we have the 12 here which is 12 12 that's three so this is um i'm sorry that's six uh so that is the number that we started the reading out with is the number six uh with the six forgiveness remember that and so this is definitely giving us a sense of you know there is someone privately you know this could be like a secret admirer this could be someone who's definitely on the prowl um but remember the threes so i was getting a sense of planning and preparing and that's literally you know that kind of energy of the hangman it's like you're just kind of observing uh that is a very um sacrificial position it's a position that spirit will put you in so you could see things from other people's perspective you know, other than your own. And it's really an opportunity for you to correct your own behavior, to correct yourself, uh, to see something that you may have missed. And for two people to be in this position, it's like, it's a mirroring, as I said, um, with the teaching and learning, someone's learning from you. Someone is learning, um, and you don't realize that you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. Uh, but there's definitely a sense of, you know, you admire people in that energy. 33, 33, again, 6, 6, which is 12. So that is, again, just veggie backing off the fact that we are breaking down this hangman energy of someone just observing. It's observation at this point. But that three is also associated with the Ascended Masters. And as I said, they, you know, it's like you're walking with giants. Um, it's That's the only way I can really break this down is like I see that you're walking with giants and someone sees it as well. And not just someone, several people see it because the way you come off is someone that is self-disciplined. And it's very hard when you got all this temptation around you. When you have so much influence around you and to be self-disciplined, this is someone that cannot be unmoved. You cannot unearth this type of energy. It's just like a high wind can't knock down a tree 
that's been growing for a hundred years. It's just not going to happen. Depending, you know, depending 34, 34, 7, 7, that breaks down to 14. That's five. It takes patience, beloved. Good things take time to create. And I feel like you were very, very adamant on healing, growing, maturing, uh, improving, uh, and in doing this, it, it's matured you. It, 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 you are seen as strong. You are seen as someone who is bold, you know, someone who's definitely very wise. You've, you've done your research. You've done your work, your homework, your spiritual work, your soul work. You've done this work and it makes you more desirable. And that's why there's a new beginning here uh, because it's like you've you've learned all the lessons and so what you have playing right now is we have um, Heavy, and this is by Dave East. Someone could be from Harlem. Someone's name could be Dave. Someone could be from the East Coast, East Side, you know. Um, so let's tap in. So what's the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, thank you. And we have nine, nine compassion. Remember we spoke to compassion when we was breaking down the forgiveness, you know, compassion is really forgiving and not judging others, not judging yourself. I feel your outcome is that you will attract your soul tribe. You will attract your people. You will attract your purpose. You will attract your person. It's just, it's just an energy of like, like attracts like. A likes, B likes. Like, this is what I'm getting from this. And with this, you know, 9-9 nine, nine compassion, I do get a sense of it also feeling very much like a spiritual partnership, a spiritual connection. Um, it feels very like a spiritual union, a, a connectedness. When two people have compassion in their hearts, that is a very unconditional type of love that will be expressed and shown to not only one another but to others that's what the spiritual career was there you could go into business with this person it's like you may be um seen as a very like uh i don't i don't want to do the idol tree thing but it's just like a power couple like what you, you your gifts together is just it's it's amazing but i digress so let's see what flew out we got seven Personal growth. What did I say about you growing, maturing? This is the outcome. And we also have nine completion. I can't make this up. So nine, nine, nine here. So you may see a lot of nines. You know, this is like a bonus because two cards flew out to clarify that um, that outcome energy. So you have six and one, seven and five, twelve, three and three, six, six and seven, 13, four. So four uh, reduces, this is all reduces to four. So what I am seeing automatically is that there is um, perhaps stability. I feel like you're feeling more stable. I definitely feel like you're building. I feel there's celebrations, um, definitely rejoicing to some degree. Uh, the four is, it deals with that vibration of the uh, 11, 11 as well. So they could be new, love ships, partnerships, connections. Um, it could be work dynamics as well. Uh, I'm also getting a sense of like, if you're in business, if you are in, you know, transitioning in your careers, I do see that there's something ending and, but there's like, you've learned so much on this journey and you're going to take all that you've learned and you're going to, uh, move on to something bigger and better. I feel like perhaps you were placed in certain, you know, spaces to learn, uh, because that's what the teaching and learning is all about. It's, it's it's like everything we do in life, everyone that comes into our lives are teachers. You know, they are here to shed a light and we are to shed light in their life and teach them something that they need to learn and vice versa. It's a reciprocal gesture. And only when you pay attention can you uh, fully understand the greater purpose or the greater meaning of that encounter. And I feel like you've discovered that because you've done a lot of internal work and you've done a lot of, you know, uh, self-analysis. Um, you've really even taken the necessary time to assess your relationships. You know, when you're in that hermit mode, it's like you look back in awareness. Uh, you take inventory for the things that 
you feel have worked for you and the things that you may feel haven't worked for you and you change, you make the necessary changes. Um, and you do it with love in your heart, not with vengeance, anger, malice, contempt, jealousy, envy, but with compassion where you're forgiving others for the hurt that they may have caused, where you're, you know, showing compassion and not judging because you realize that we're all in different phases and stages in this thing called life. And we are all imperfect and we're going to all fail and we're going to have to get back up and we're going to fail again. And you got to learn from your mistakes. And so it's, it's like when you're human, you, you act as humans, but when you start to awaken spiritually and you get out of your way and you're no longer allowing yourself to be told things and you start doing some soul searching and researching and you start self-regulating that's when you can begin the healing process that's when you can really start to recuperate and recover uh because a lot of times in this journey like we go according to what we've been told um by our parents by society and a lot of the things need to be unlearned a lot of that nonsense that noise need to be unlearned and then we have to learn all over again that's what the spiritual journey is that's what the dark night of the soul journey is it's when you're actually learning um to rely on your spiritual eyes uh so let's clarify these messages beloved let's see what we got coming and going out going on with my beloved scorpios so this is very beautiful very interesting but it it does speak to the journey it does speak to you know this this evolution if you will you know it's not it's not always like pretty and that's what i love about this because we see that there's been some um some hardships here because whenever you open up the reading with forgiveness that definitely would allude to that fact so what we have playing right now is we have uh Bilal featuring most deaf in common and this is called reminisce and this was produced by Jay Dilla, Rising Power. So someone is reminiscing. Some of you all could be looking back. We got the crown chakra there, seven. So trust your intuition. You could also be having very lucid dreams. Some of you may be having recurring dreams that you need to pay attention to because that's the way your angels communicate with you. Pay attention to numbers you may see in your dreams, objects, you know, certain sayings or things that might stick out. Try to keep us journal you know remember we had diary of a mad band playing so i do feel like you know someone is journaling or someone may keep account of you know perhaps what they're manifesting or what they're dreaming so if you do have a diary or a journal of some sort and and i don't even like that word diary i don't like nothing with the word diary um die in it so livery if you do have a livery um then you know make sure to keep track of what you are um, seeing in those dreams. I also feel someone thinks a lot. They're up in their mind a lot, ruminating, pining, overthinking. This is like analysis paralysis, sort of. Maybe someone is obsessively thinking of you because we had that song, Fiending, also, uh, which was by Joe C. Someone could be from North Carolina or is residing. Maybe they're originally from North Carolina, but someone's fiending. Fiending for another person is, you know, borderline obsession. Um, we have this wish fulfillment here. Remember, I told you all that I did see a wish fulfillment in the cards for you because we absolutely saw that follow your dream. So there is some sort of answer to a prayer. And I feel like it's a reward, you know, from spirit. It's almost like recognition. You can see clearly that there's a chest, a treasure chest here. So this could be material in, as well as spiritual um, blessings, prosperity. I definitely feel you will be emotionally fulfilled, satisfied, overjoyed. Um, but let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. Clarify these messages for my beloveds. Thank you, spirits. What's coming in? We got Wu-Tang Clan Triumph playing. So there's definitely a victory. Remember, I was speaking to, you know, that number six and there being victories and breakthroughs. And then we started off with six. And I feel this could be the reason as to why you are triumphing. Because when you forgive, it's like you're re you're releasing yourself from weight. You know, whether it be, you know, energetic, you know. And look at that. I just said material and spiritual prosperity. And there we have it. Look at that. Number six. So this is the reason. The reason why is because of forgiveness. And that's why I said forgiveness is always for you. 
It isn't for the other person. People got that jacked up. When you think that you're forgiving someone for them, and so you hold you know, on to animosity and resentment and anger, thinking you're hurting the other person, that other person's living their best life while you're sitting there dragging it out. Four, 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 four. Your angels are definitely the ones giving you this blessing, this wish fulfillment, because I feel you've earned it. I was seeing victories and breakthroughs, and this is the reason why we got Wu-Tang Clan. Some of y'all could be from New York, Staten Island, singing triumph so there is definitely a victory here um and what did i say victory loves preparation so you all have been doing the work when i see preparation what did i say about victories and celebrations i saw a celebration and there goes the rejoice and celebration card so you will be rejoicing there there is definitely a reason uh for you all to be very satisfied and i see that wish fulfillment card yet again that's that's amazing <laughs> and material harvest so you guys got some this is you're receiving blessings in the form of tangibles um like i'm i'm feeling like offers money um business proposals investments um even love offers new relationships like I'm, I'm getting a sense of everything and it's because of your growth it's because you've learned you've evolved you know when you you elevate um, you, you, own, you get rewarded, you know, it's like you, you're reaching a new phase and stage in your life. So spirit will reward you. You will get some sort of recognition. And I feel like, as I said, it could be tangibles. It could be in the form of gifts. Your solar returns are coming up. So we have here, what did I say about somebody up in their head stressing? And this is the number eight trapped in fear. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is eight hope. This is 17. That's the star. So this is, I'm going to break that down. That's going to clarify this energy of domestic harmony, which is at 46. But what we have here is this trapped in fear. And this is why the forgiveness card came out. I feel someone is really afraid to say something that they feel in their heart. Um, so they make a lot of assumptions as to what they think is going to be said. They make up a lot of scenarios in their mind as to what's going on, opposed to expressing how they feel directly to the source. So this causes monkey mind. This causes mind uckery confusion. When you live in your mind like this, this is the devil's playground and the devil loves to manipulate. You know, the devil loves to pull strings and puppet master situations. So this energy is showing exactly why um, the forgiveness card came out because someone did, did, did dirty, did you dirty. Someone could have did you wrong. This could also be you ruminating and pining over a failed or lost situation. And spirit is saying through forgiveness, can you truly move past this situation? 11, 11 on the clock, 47, 47, that breaks down to four. It could be involved, you know, involved in some sort of soulmate, cosmic companion situation. We all know that dynamic is runner chaser. Um, so that could be this kind of situation where you're kind of waking up anxious and thinking about something and spirit is just like, you know, through forgiveness, can you free yourself from this mind uckery? And this 14 that this breaks down to is like, you know, really spirit saying everything happens in divine timing. Um, but the divine timing of this is all based upon the forgiveness you have in your heart, the love, the unconditional love. So I do feel like that's the reason why, um, you know, the forgiveness card showed up is because there is uh, someone who has heavy regrets um, and they are very, very much um, stuck and trapped. But there will be a triumph. I do feel someone comes out of that. If that's you, you will get out of that. That won't be for long. Um, but I do feel like this can be uh, self-imposed if this is you. Even if it's the other person, it's self-imposed because someone is just kind of making up the scenarios without just taking action. So I feel they got to muster up the strength. You know, this could also be in regards to karma. Someone could be like really dealing with some um, difficult times right now. Karma could have came right on back, right on back around to them. So what we see here is hope. 
and this is the same as the star in my opinion um the star definitely deals with the wishes that we saw remember when we was pulling this card we saw that follow your dream and with this domestic harmony it looks like someone does leave a situation a uh, uh, domestic circumstance behind to go after that dream to take that leap someone has been holding on to hope and optimism walking in faith you know sending up those prayers and petitions asking the angels to give them angles uh, this is that praying person praying fervently this is that person that speaks daily mantras speaks daily affirmations has sticky notes of all positive uh, affirmations has a journal and a live a livery um, just you know where they jot down their ideas and I feel like that's the reason why this wish fulfillment is coming in because someone you know didn't give up it's like this is like even though there's an ending something has ended drastically something has ended you know in a very explosive way perhaps it's like this hope has given them the light given them a sense of truth even um, what I have playing right now is we have Dion Warwick and Luther Vandross, and this is called How Many Times uh, Can We Say Goodbye? So this could possibly be like, you know, someone who is going through this back and forth with an ex. Um, you know, it's just toxic. It's just like, just constant. Remember, I was getting a sense of like a merry-go-round, and I was saying it's just like a round and round again. It's like a repeat. It's like that, that's the type of energy where it's just like, you know, you think something's done and then here we go again. So it's just like even the infinity symbol represents, um, you know, what goes around comes back around again. So some sort of karmic situation is finally coming to an end. And I feel someone has hope that things uh, could get better. So let's tap in. So why is this 46 harm domestic harmony here for my beloved Scorpios for who or what they're attracting to them? We get a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we see movements, choices, decisions. So there's definitely some decisions someone's having to make. There's a choice, perhaps, between two things, two people, two circumstances, two localities. There's definitely choices. So when there's choices, that means that you have to ponder. You have to evaluate. You have to analyze. You have to make a very conscious decision. And so what flew out, to clarify, is we have universe. So this is similar to the world card. This is number 21. That 21 breaks down to three. So this is a divine masculine because three, someone could be making a decision about, you know, a feminine that they think the world of. I was also getting a sense of there being distance, whether emotional, physical, or just spiritual distance, like no communication. But someone is um, absolutely having some sort of, um, you know, dark night of the soul journey, like they're completing or wrapping up something. Maybe they are healing um, you know, breaking generational curses or they could be just healing themselves from trauma because I do feel like there's something major changing in someone's life. This could be the change you're attracting to you as well. The world card definitely uh, insinuates that you've reached a level of self-mastery where you've improved, where you've grown, where you've elevated. Um, and it's like a graduation of sorts. As I was saying, new levels, like you're reaching... Um, you know, this pinnacle point where um, others are kind of in awe, you know, and we also have new beginnings here. Yet again, we saw new beginnings on the bottom of the deck for the numerology deck. So there are new beginnings. I feel this is someone, you know, I feel this is someone that wants to take a leap of faith also, like based off of whatever um, experiences they've been through. It's like they now can see the light. Remember, we had that energy of someone kind of in the hangman looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe someone was already tied to another person and they couldn't approach you. This is someone that was already in a relationship, someone that was already involved in some sort of domestic circumstance. So they couldn't really pursue you. And maybe they've been really up in their head or this could be you stressing. Maybe you thought you had a dope connection with someone and there was no pursuit you know they never pursued you or things never took off and i feel now whatever's happening whatever shifts are occurring even with this lunar eclipse this could be like cutting out all of the karmic things that were kind of delaying and blocking um a connection you know this could be a connection with someone that is divinely meant for you that could have been tied up and bound to another situation and spirit is opening the pathway and giving this new opportunity for something to develop, for something to cultivate. And this is exciting. This is like 
whatever this is, it's it's like you because there's a world. This person is like it's a whole new world. It's a whole new venture. It's a whole new life. It's a whole new experience. This could even be someone from, you know, that has a different age group. Someone that's from a different um, ethnic background, religious background. You know, this is someone that will shift your whole paradigm, your world. You know, turn it upside down and right side up like it's just it's just a powerful energy because it's sacred it's spiritual we have al green and this is for the good times so i do feel like you have some good times that are coming in i do feel like things are shifting and changing for the better for you because you're coming out of that you know that that uh toxicity so with this movement decisions and changes someone is choosing the right decision i saw five 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 which is uh 15 that's six yet again so this could be someone that you know from the past. We are clarifying another five. So the self-discipline. So for the good times, I feel like you got some good times ahead of you because you've done the work. You know, you're a mature woman. You're a mature man. So you know what you want. You're not like shying away. You're not settling for less. It's like you are absolutely someone who has earned. Um, you've earned something. You, this is personal growth. This is two. And this is a five. And remember, we have this personal growth. So you've done the work. You know, there's no denying that you've been doing the work, that you've been learning the lessons, that you've been healing at a soul level. There's no denying. That's why there's movers, changes, and decisions. Five, 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 five. That breaks down to 20. So this is about judgment. There's been some sort of wake-up call. Someone has had a wake-up call. And that's why they're. That's what's, you know, triggering the, the need to make a decision. And I feel like this is about someone wanting to move out of a depressed state of mind to, you know, being more happy, more. Maybe that's what they felt around you. You just earthed them. You made them feel accepted, loved, nurtured, cared for. And we got the hope, wish fulfillment. This is what's hidden on the bottom of the deck. When we pull what's hidden, what came out is material, spiritual prosperity. I can't make this up. Remember, we saw that during the shuffle several times. I said it and then it showed up and then here we have it again. So this is how someone feels about you. This is what you usher into their life. They feel you are their twin flame because this reduces to 11. They also feel like this can, you know, like evolve into marriage. You do get your just due. Like things will turn out, work out in your favor. Whatever efforts you've been putting forth in a business or honing a skill, mastering a craft, sharpening your sword, whatever research, whatever investigation, whatever you've been doing to, you know, like build your skill set. I do feel like spirit is saying that you are uh, absolutely going to receive like this blessing because this is showing, you know, there's a victory ahead for you. There's definitely, you know, something that's bringing in uh, better days ahead. Uh, I was picking up promotions, pay increase, job offers. I was picking up business investments, um, you know, business deals. I'm seeing business increasing. I'm just seeing this is like you this is what you've been waiting for and this is coming straight from source so you this is like you're getting your just due we just saw the five 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 which was 20 and that's judgment so this is your judgment like your seeds that you've sowed in good faith they're harvesting and they are you know producing a carnucopia for you for your family for legacy for generations to come like i feel like you will have more than enough more than enough and with this hope, it says teaching and learning. So this is the wish fulfillment. Like this is you really being very diligent daily to maintain a positive outlook, to stay positive in your ways of thinking, to not slipping into depression or doubt or that spirit of lack, holding on to hope, speaking hope into your situation, walking in faith, even though everything around you says the opposite. It's like, this is what you've done. You've kind of created a protective bubble to keep all of that noise and toxicity out so you went from this energy of like stressing overthinking oh you know overly concerned being a worry wart to now you know just kind of holding on to hope and trusting that you know your work your efforts are not only being acknowledged but they will be rewarded and i feel like that is where you know this this level of of um of leadership you know you've kind of taken on that that leadership role whether you realize it or not because you took the reins and took control of your own lives and maybe in the past there was someone else kind of puppet mastering and and masterminding and you know kind of 
manipulating you and your situation and you broke free and you are now more self-disciplined, which means you're more in control. You're more aware. You're more mature. You can't, you're not going to fall, you know, for the banana in the tailpipe, so to speak. You're, you're just not going to do that. So we have this energy here where the teaching and learning, you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And I feel like this is what's kept you very hopeful. Um, maybe you have been, you know, kind of like a healer, a shaman, a light worker, and you've been helping others heal. And that's what helped you to maintain that strength, helped you to maintain that drive, that determination. And that's now what's ushering in and blessing you with this wish fulfillment. This is beautiful. Why is this 57 teaching and learning here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. So we have rejoice and celebration. I can't make this up. You will be rejoicing. There is a celebration. I believe I even showed y'all that card because I said it and then it showed up during the shuffle. And that is a number three. So I do feel like there is some good news coming in. And I do feel it has a lot to do with you, you know, planning, preparing, strategizing, you know, making the right decision. Because remember, we said we saw the card movements, decisions, choices. So that does allude to the fact that you had to decide something or whatever's coming in towards you had to make a choice. So it's like whatever that decision was, victories. This is celebratory. This is, you know, excitement. This is happiness. And that's very beautiful. We have Nas Rare. So I do feel you all are rare breeds. I do feel like you all are, you know, it's almost like misunderstood and Mr. Understood. There could have been people that doubted you in your past because I was getting a sense of like, you know, uh, people not seeing your worth or seeing your value or people breadcrumbing you, not giving you the time of day. And now they're regretting that, you know, uh, because there is a sense of like, you know, this, this forgiveness that someone is seeking, someone feeling remorse. Um, this is monkey mind. This is kind of like stressing over a situation, but it has something to do with what the wrong they've done, something they may have spoke, um, you know, coldly, ignorantly, brashly, like someone could have been very brash. Someone could have just been, you know, just nasty. But now it's like they're seeing you in a whole new light. They're respecting you uh, in a whole new light. Because remember, we saw that hangman twice on the deck. Uh, on the board and and the hangman as i said is a very sacrificial position where you're forced to look at things look at people look at others look at yourself even from a different vantage point um it's a forced position and you will not get out of it until you you know till you elevate you know till your train of thought uh improves or till you change till you're corrected thank you spirit till there's some correction so look at the disruption card here so this is what someone was dealing with. Remember, I was speaking to the devil energy, you know, and this disruption card is absolutely speaking to someone who was disrupting your peace or someone who felt disrupted. They got a lot of blockages. You know, when you look at this, this like this person is like, it's all blocked out. So there was a lot of blockages. They could have been like blocked. This could be all the chakras that they needed to really work through. And I feel like you helped clear each of those those chakras like they had to start from the root the base all and work their way all the way up to the crown and it's like so whoever is you know hidden or secretly or uh, you know like a secret admirer whoever's secretly watching whoever this person is because you do have people watching even if this isn't a person of interest even if these are just people um in general that you could be teaching you know you could be an awakener you could be a healer you could be a shaman a light worker um Whatever you are doing, it's like people who are and are uh, struggling with this, this blockage, people who feel this sense of disruption in their spirit. It's like you're, you're giving them the tools to unbind themselves. You know, this seven and this three is saying there's an end, you know, to this, this toxicity, to this block. This is like a blockage, you know, this disruption. And that's what's disrupting someone's peace, someone's quality of life, their love, their finances. Like this type of blockage can disrupt the peace. They're in the dark. This is like, it's just very, um, I just get heavy. It's very heavy. And we did have Dave East earlier saying heavy. 
So that is the heavy energy. But you are very rare. And I feel you're rare in other people's minds because whatever someone is dealing with, it's like it is, they can't believe that you went through that too and you're who you are now or you have overcome that circumstance and you are just, you know, your, your spirit is all love and light. Like it didn't harden you. It didn't harden you. If anything, you are very pure and loving and kind and compassionate. And look at this devil. I can't make this up. There goes the devil. So this disruption is the tower. And this devil was disrupting your peace. And that's exactly what I was saying. It's like he was dealing with a devil that had you feeling blocked, bound. That's what the devil does. And they will tempt you. And so whomever this is with the teaching and learning, someone is learning. So this devil could be, you know, kind of in a position where either they're trying to correct their behavior or they could be very, you know, proud and, and, and trying to influence you. But with the teaching and the learning aspect, I am getting a sense of someone being forced to look at their behavior, to look at the way that they've treated others, look at the way that they're showing up in the world. This is called accountability. It's 15, 16, a synchronicity. This could even be a mirror, you know? You could have been the one that was disrupted and this could have been the devil trying to tempt you off your path and you had to figure out a way to unbind yourself and to unblock each of these chakras because this 16 breaks down to seven and that seven is again like i said the personal growth that you achieve that's the outcome so that means that you've triumphantly overcome this very cunning con man con woman very controlling, manipulative, obsessive type of energy. This is an energy that tries to tempt you. So you have to always use discernment dealing with this energy because you could be dealing with someone that is definitely like a magician, a, a master manipulator, you know, because the seven and the six is 13. That's four, four and three, that's seven. So that seven is definitely given like the seven of swords. So with teaching and learning, you could teach people how to treat you by the way you treat yourself, you know? So don't allow this nonsense to influence any decision you make. You ig the ignorance. Don't give them the time of day. You're at, where your attention goes, energy flows. So give you don't feed an attention whore energy because all you're doing is, is kind of like feeding the sickness, you know, if you will. It's like you're giving them exactly what they need to become even more ridiculous. So it's like you ig them. And once you ig them, it's like they can't, they don't know what to do with, with no attention. So it drives them insane and they'll drive themselves insane and leave you alone. You know, so we have this rejoice and celebration. We're about to clarify seven personal growth in this completion card. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. So these two cards are literally poking out and I'm going to take those. And this one is like, take me too. So I'll take it. In the bottom of the deck, we have positive movements forward, moving away, moving on. Remember, I was picking up on a trip. So positive movements forward. Some of you all will be taking a trip. I always see that like the eight of cups. So you could be leaving someone, something behind, or someone is leaving someone or something behind. But it's a positive movement forward. And then we have moving on right underneath that. And then we have that seven, the chakra, the um, crown chakra again. Remember, when we started the reading, this is the card on the top. Or in the bottom of the deck, pardon me. But this is what someone is choosing to do. They're making a conscientious decision to leave something behind. And it's going to lead to positive movements forward. Remember, I spoke to the authority, that masculine. This is the emperor energy here. So this can absolutely be speaking to some sort of financial blessings, opportunities. You're making a bold decision to leave. You're making a bold decision to do something. We have Road to Zion by Damien Marley and Nas. So I feel like with that Road to Zion, remember we started off with Ride and now we see Road. So some of you all may be getting on the road traveling. Some of you all may be relocating. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Someone could be literally relocating, packing up and relocating to the east side, relocating to the west, relocating to another part of, you know, the country. But I feel I get a sense of like 
This is going to, you know, usher in some positive energy and vibes. Just the new locality, the new energy um, is just really nurturing to your soul. So we have solar plexus here. That's that three. And your solar plexus deals with your self-confidence, deals with your strength. It deals with healing. That's the sun that shines within you. So this is a beautiful energy of now being stronger, more courageous, more assertive, more self-loving, and also trusting your inner gumption, especially when it comes to others. As I said, with the self-discipline now defining how others see you and who you are, how they feel about you, it shows that you've really worked on yourself. You really worked on maturation, growing, healing, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even physically. We also have spiritual strength. I can't make this up. You're spiritually wiser. You know, this is wisdom. Wise don't. This is, you know, being emotionally in equilibrium as well as spiritually. So now you're connected to that Christ consciousness. You're tapped into that God frequency. You may be getting synchronicities frequently. You may be finding feathers frequently. You may be bumping into the same animal totems frequently. You may be seeing the same angel numbers frequently. You may be having reoccurring dreams frequently. You may be having certain divine downloads frequently, interventions frequently. You may be getting messages clairaudiently frequently. Like this is, this is how you build your spiritual strength by sitting in silence and those answers come to you this is powerful next you have discontent and boredom so i do feel like if there is a sense where you are feeling unhappy unsure depressed it's like you're coming out of that there's a completion a wrapping up of that cycle because this feels very much like you know singing the coulda shoulda woulda blues or feeling a little sorry for oneself or feeling like they've missed an opportunity and if you look closely spirit is always giving you signs there's always signs and synchronicities and i do see that you take your power back you're very powerful you're very strong and this is just the outcome this is just you are a strong person whatever you've endured as i said it was necessary so that you can help heal others you know, so I get a sense of like many of you being again, you know, ordained, initiated. Um, definitely, you have an anointing of some sort. I see positive movements forward for you all, even if you can't see it right now. It's like you got to know it. That's what that hope card is. You know, the hope card. I love it because it's like you have to be the one to you know, really feed that intention and that has to intensify to the point where you know what you desire, what you want is yours already. That's what the whole point of the daily affirmations and the mantras and, you know, all of that energy is really to manifest your desires because your thought becomes your reality. And if you can think it and if you could feel it, and I just saw victory, look at that, it just was poking out. And remember, we have Wu-Tang Clan triumph. So you do have victory and success and it's being confirmed so many times in this video, you know, it, that not only did you achieve this and earn this, um, but you deserve it. You deserve it. And, you know, there's going to be some folks that will hate what they can't duplicate, <clears throat> but that is just the nature of mere mortals you know so you just got to keep it pushing look what we have on the bottom of the dark grimoire we have the ace of pentacles so this is another confirmation that you have material and spiritual prosperity you some of you have job offers some of you have some sort of pay increase bonuses i definitely feel there's a victory ahead for you financially there's something coming through for you, a reward. There's definitely recognition for you taking your power back. After going through a period where you had to recover and recuperate, you've built your spiritual strength. You've taken your power. You're trusting your intuition. You're not doing anything unless it sits right, feels right in your spirit, in your gut. And that's what's leading you to a very powerful powerful victory a very powerful 
triumph, a new beginning, a new beginning overall. So this is beautiful, my beloved Scorpios. Let's tap in. So we have on the um, split, we have the eight of chalices. So there's someone that could be coming back from your past, trying to offer you something that you're no longer interested in. This could be a karmic because it is the number eight. And you can see this is someone who loves themselves, knows their worth. So they're not willing to just, you know, accept anything. So this is not someone that will settle. And maybe this is a job offer that you're not interested in. Spirit is saying it's okay to turn down something if they're not offering you the right money. Um, maybe you will be turning down people who are not, um, you know, who don't see your worth, who's not trying to pay you your worth, who's not trying to, you know, compensate your gifts. Uh, but I do feel like there is a match in terms of whatever this this gift is, like whatever this offer is, because you have the two of cups here. So you're leaving something behind to go after your dreams. This could be someone leaving someone else behind or leaving something behind to come after you because you can see someone off in the distance. That's someone that's been left. And there's a cloud of smoke, which means that there was some sort of illusion. And remember, we did have that 46 Do, um, domestic harmony here. And that does, you know, insinuate that there's some sort of ending. There's no happiness. When this 46 is at a 10, I feel like that's, you know, the end of some sort of peace and harmony. But I do feel like two people are coming into union. And the lovers, which is what this is, I said uh, it was the two of cups, pardon me, but this is the lovers. And I did speak to the lovers. This is like a powerful union. Uh, so someone almost had to be removed um, that was kind of taking up space or trying to, you know, kind of like delaying this connection. Um, you know, someone was being offered because remember I was picking up like, you know, this is uh, some sort of karmic making an offer. And this feminine energy has to choose wisely. So there is a choice with this forgiveness, that same eight that we saw, see this trapped in fear. Now someone is afraid because maybe you've turned down their offer. Maybe you've rejected them because you know your worth, but you're still, you've still shown forgiveness. You know, um, you're not judging them. You're not being cold and nasty. You're just simply rejecting whatever they're offering you. And so I see the emperor here. Oh, pardon me. This is the king of pentacles. You have something coming in. There is definitely some sort of job offer. There's more money. I'm getting a sense of like something really, really um, tangible. This could be like a position that you've been like praying for. I'm, I'm absolutely seeing stability here. I'm seeing that you're going to have all your ducks in a row. Everything is going to be working out just fine. Your home is going to be flourishing. And I feel like you will enjoy um, your new employer. You'll enjoy the environment like the the culture you know of the business like everyone will seem very humane very empathic compassionate loves what they do like you'll enjoy your new colleagues um you'll enjoy your space your new place of um employment because you feel like you're around people that are like minds and look what we have here we have the eight, which is the eight of wands. So good news is coming. So you're holding out for this good news, for this wish fulfillment, because that's something you've been manifesting. That's something you've been really holding on to, you know, like in your gut, like you've been calling that in specifically. And so I feel like that's what you're holding off on. And whatever these people are offering, it's like, you're not interested. It's like, nah, I'm good. So you're, you know, now to speak your truth. That's what self-discipline is also. It's about you know, saying, you know, speaking your truth, saying how you truly feel and not just appeasing the please or just going along to get along. We have Beyonce, I care. So it's like for you, it's, it's really all about doing something that you care about. As I said, when you do something that you absolutely love, it doesn't even feel like work at the end of the day. It just feels like something that you're meant to do. And so when you bring that type of passion and that type of, um, you know, energy into your work, it, 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 people will feel the difference. So we have the world card here. So remember we was speaking to you wrapping up cycle. So it looks like you're walking away from someone or something that's just, just like, I'm, um, I'm hearing the same song. It's like, this person is like, you know, like a salesman, you know, this is someone that's trying to sell you a dream or someone who got the gift, the gab or someone who just talks very good, but you're not interested. 
because all the things they said they were going to do in the past, they never did. Or all the things they promised you in the past, they never fulfilled, you know. So it's like now it's, it's the end. It's wrapping up a cycle. Something's coming full circle. And guess what? You will be rewarded because you've learned a lot. You've learned, more importantly, how to navigate certain situations. Maybe that's why someone is kind of replaying things over and over in their mind because maybe they feel like they've burned a bridge or they feel like they've messed something up. And with Beyonce, I care. Someone could come back and say, hey, I care about you or I care about this connection. or And, and you just don't want to hear it anymore because you feel like it's almost at this point like emotional manipulation. You know, I'm just getting a sense of that. Bottom of the deck, we have the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. So there is an offer coming in very slowly. And this offer takes its time. You know, the King of um, the Knight of uh, Pentacles, they take their time because they want to get it right. So this is someone who's like doing all of the things the right way, planning, preparing, strategizing. Perhaps this is why someone is up in their head because they're really trying to, you know, plan the right course of action, but they keep getting, you know, tripping up because of fear, you know, they're, they're trapped in fear. And so they're afraid because they're anticipating your response. They're anticipating what you're going to say, what's going to happen. And when you start doing, having all those scenarios, it, it starts to drive you crazy. It starts to make you uh, a little anxious. And so I feel like someone wants to apologize, ask for your forgiveness, um, show some sort of remorse for the things they may have done in the past. Uh, this is definitely someone, um, who could also be, you know, hoping to, you know, receive an offer, you know, maybe you feel somewhere, you know, some of you all may have felt like you weren't, uh, capable of getting some sort of promotion. Maybe you didn't feel like you had the experience or the education, you know, maybe that's why you needed to forgive yourself because you was judging yourself. And little do you know, there's an offer being made, you know, skills or not, you know, education or not, like it's taking its time because as I said, good things take time to create. You'd be stressing and worrying over nothing. So that could be that offer that you've been kind of like anticipating, but it's never come up. And we have right now, um, could you be loved? And this is by Bob Marley. Someone's name could be Bob or Marley. Someone could be from Jamaica. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense that, you know, with this could be loved, that spirit of lack where some of you all, the, the forgiveness was really you forgiving yourself. You know, the forgiveness was really about you showing yourself compassion um, because many of you could have been like really uh, having very negative dialogues with yourself, talking about how stupid you are, how ugly you are, or how un, you know, worthy you are. Some people get trapped in that, in that, um, cycle of self deprecate, you know, deprivating, uh, conversations. Like I'm too fat. I'm ugly. You know, people do go through that cycle. And I feel like the spirit was perhaps saying that you needed to forgive yourself, get out of your head, stop making excuses or stop speaking, um, so negatively or in that staying stuck in that spirit of lack and um, just trusting the process, you know, really trusting uh, what spirit has for you. Because this is 14. So this is about divine timing. This is 96 and this eight that reduces to 14. Yeah, 14, that's five. So that was about learning, you know, maturing, self-love. That's why you're now in this space. Maybe someone was used to, you know, playing games, taking their time, you know, sending messages, having you up all night waiting, promising you things, having you waiting. And now it's like with the self-discipline, you're not waiting for anything. You're not expecting anything from anyone. You're not waiting for anything from anyone. You're not allowing anyone, you know, that, that power to have this validation over you, your life. It's like th whatever you were waiting for, it's like you're now taking actions towards it. So there's no more waiting. And, and what you're doing whilst you wait is growing, maturing, because that five is dealing with the hierophant. That's about growth. That's about maturation. That's learning. That's tutelage and scholarly energy. That's being ushered into even a school of, of knowledge, a school of thought. But this, this energy of just sitting around waiting, ruminating, it's like you, you could be the one, you know, that's kind of like 
you know, taking the charge, taking the reins and saying, I'm going to learn something new. I'm going to preoccupy my mind with something positive and I know it will flourish. I know it will become better. And with you, um, could you be loved? You know, that was perhaps the conversation. Could you be loved in this state of mind where you all confuse? No, because love is an inside job and that doesn't display self-love. So that's why it's like, okay, let me kind of fake it till I make it, focus on something else, hone my skills, master my craft, learn, build my wealth of knowledge. And then with that comes, oh, you know, I'm actually good at something. And then your focus changes, you know, you start to focus on what actually matters and you start to recognize how dope you are. You start to recognize how intelligent, how articulate, how blissed you are when you're not stuck up in this state, you know, this imprisonment of the mind, the monkey mind. So could you be loved? Now you know you can. And that's the change, the domestic harmony. We're about to clarify. And we have um, the universe along with the new beginning. So the ending, the new beginning. The world represents the ending of a cycle. This represents the new beginning, the more exciting, adventurous cycle that you are embarking upon. This is what you're attracting to you. Who or what? So let's clarify those messages, beloved. We have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. And remember, we do have someone that feels you are, in fact, their divine counterpart, their soulmate, their yin to their yang, yang to their yin. And who better equipped for that role than the Empress? We did speak on the Empress. So you are seen as someone who is all, you know, Everything mentioned, you know, regal, royal, powerful, knows her worth, attractive, smart, wise, nurturing, loving, domestic, a business savvy, business mogul energy, even if you're empress and emperor, pardon me. So these two cards are upright. Do I take those? And we have on the bottom of the deck, the nine of wands, very guarded, protective of your energy, creating a sacred space, creating that protective bubble. So what flew out is we have the queen of pentacles. So this is how someone sees you being independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, earthy, a healer, someone who likes the finer things in life, someone who is absolutely capable of taking care of themselves. This is someone who loves themselves. This is someone who has some sort of a material wealth. And we have the death card here. So transformations, they see that you've transformed. They see that you've been through enormous change, a startling metamorphosis. And because of that, there is, you know, this, this spiritual material harvest prosperity that you are experiencing right now. These are the rewards. This is the wish fulfillment. This is the job offers. This is new opportunities that are coming in because of the work you've done. You've worked hard and now your hard work is paying off. As I said, we have Jodeci, I'm still waiting. Some of you all could be still waiting for, you know, an answer for a job that you've applied for. And I do feel like, you know, whatever you're still waiting for, um, waiting. Remember what I said about patience. It's also a form of action. So don't just sit around waiting. Um, you know, continue to still apply to other opportunities, continue to still do, you know, your due diligence to research other opportunities that might be out there for you, applying to other opportunities that are of interest, you know, uh, always be mastering your craft. Don't just sit around and wait for one thing or put all your eggs in one basket, because what happens if they don't, um, they don't hire you, they don't make an offer. So it's like, your waiting period, the waiting game um, needs to be very meticulous because even though you are so-called waiting, you still should be busy because patience is a form of action, as I said. So that means you still should be sharpening your sword. You should still be working on this and that, like still keeping things moving so that you're not just waiting on one, you know, answer. So these cards fell out, but they fell out, um, you know, um, down. They didn't face up. So I just want to see, I'm curious. So we do feel, um, we do see there's a chariot. There's some communication. There's a yes answer. I definitely feel triumph. Absolutely. Cause we had that Wu-Tang song. This is a triumph. This is a victory. This is a breakthrough right here. This is something coming in 
very quickly. And I feel like this is due to willpower, determination. Someone could be approaching you, traveling to see you. Because remember we said we had the song Ride. And then we had um, the song Road. The Road to Zion was playing. So you could be waiting on something. And I feel whatever you're waiting for is rushing in. It's coming in. We also have um, the Two of Pentacles. So you see this, this two of pentacles, the way it's depicted. So there is a decision. And remember, we have the teaching and learning card along with the disruption, along with this temptation card. So whilst you're waiting, you don't know why you're waiting. That's why waiting is divine timing, because there are other things that are taking place unbeknownst to you, you know. So whomever or whatever you're waiting for, this is what they could be dealing with. They're still learning. But they feel very, very blocked. And it's because they have some sort of devil energy. A devil energy that is very much obsessed. A devil energy that's very much um, toxic. You know, they do things to tempt this person. This is someone that is very intentional with their debauchery, with their negativity. This is someone that's cunning, con man, Judas, speaks with a forked tongue. Doesn't mean well for anyone. And this is the person that's been keeping someone blocked, keeping someone feeling stuck, you know, and now we see why, you know, someone feels like they got to get the hell up out of Dodge. This is someone, you know, mustering up that courage, you know, asserting themselves finally and, and, and having some sort of breakthrough because maybe they see something, you know, this is someone trying to take someone out. You know, this is not a friend. This is a foe. This is not a, you know, um, this ain't even, you know, family. This is this is someone that's an enemy. This is a frenemy. This is someone that may beguile, smile in your face. Because the only way someone could get this close is if you've trusted them. I feel like this person kind of snuck up on them. And it's like they can see who the culprit is. They see someone for who they truly are now. It's like I feel someone may have been um, perhaps... Uh, duped or bamboozled because remember the hangman gives someone an opportunity to analyze to assess a situation and when they are in this position oh man do they see they could see this person face clear as day they could see that dagger coming straight at them and this is someone that is really trying to take them out this is someone that really is very very hateful jealous we have the chariot, so I do feel there is a triumph. I do feel someone does get out of a situation successfully, and there goes the wheel. So there is a turning point. So there's something destined that's going to take place. I feel this may be a destiny type of connection um, or a destiny type of circumstance uh, because this is the, the wheel of fortune. So spirit, universe, source is seeing fit to turn the wheel in your favor even though this is what's hidden spirit is saying this is why someone is leaving a situation and it's almost like it's coming towards you because whatever was being delayed and blocked it was by whoever this devil is this devil that has been you know like really doing a lot of manipulative things behind the scenes really tapping into some dark energy to bind someone and keep someone stuck and I feel this was definitely someone's uh, karmic lesson uh, because now they're being forced, as I said, to look at things from a different vantage point. So whatever was being blocked and delayed, this was the reason. Someone was dealing with a devil. Someone was dealing with an enemy. They were sleeping with an enemy. And we have this nine uh, of wands. This is boundaries. Uh, this is also very much, you know, someone has learned uh, from all of the disappointments in their life that it's an it's very essential to establish boundaries because this is someone who has always been self-sacrificing uh overcompensating giving loving um very just you know that that water energy um you know that scorpios give off is just like you love wholeheartedly or you love um with every fabric of your being and then when you find out someone is disappointing you it's like you slowly put the guard up. You don't X them out immediately because you're still trying to give them room to, you know, to 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 uh, grow or you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. But that very moment when you see there is no turnaround and you realize you're dealing with snakes or you're dealing with some dark energy, you will you establish boundaries. And so that's what I feel you're at right now where you've learned 
the very necessary lessons from who or what. This could even be you dealing with this type of energy right now. You know, whether you realize it or not, you got some secret haters, competition, but you are wrapping up this toxic cycle because you've learned. You have learned. Um, you're more aware uh, and you realize what you deserve. You realize what you desire and that's what you're pursuing. Um, so let's tap in. So we have the two of cups now. So this is coming into union with like-minded individuals, people that will give equally to one another because they have something to give to the other because they've taken the time to heal themselves. So when you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you better know that self. And when you know that self, you know what your love language is, you know what your interests are, and that's where you become powerful. That's when you own your power and you operate and function from that place of power and you also are spiritually strong so it's not just about brute strength and physical strength it's about your spiritual strength about your spiritual wise dome so we have this um ten of chalices and the magician many of you have been manifesting new love you've been manifesting you know some emotional fulfillment happiness and joy we have D'Angelo and the Vanguard. This is called Really Love. So some of you all are attracting real love. Some of you could be from Virginia. Someone's name could be uh, D'Angelo or could start with a D. But I feel like a lot of you are also just attracting something you love to do. That spiritual career keeps popping up in my mind's eye. So I do feel like a lot of you will really love uh, whatever the spiritual career is that you are pursuing. So we have this card here. We got the five of, um, what is this? The five of pentacles. So you see something for what it truly is now. You're no longer allowing yourself to be misled. You see how he's kind of looking out and he sees, it's almost like a cult, you know, but you look closely, you see who this cult is being ordered by, who they're being controlled by, manipulated by. And you can see clearly this person was probably under, you know, under some sort of um, influence, drugs, drinking, is an addiction here. But he kind of slipped away, got away, and now he could see from the outside looking into a situation just how toxic and volatile it truly was. And that volatility was, is all the more reason for someone to, um, you know, to seek help, but to also protect themselves moving forward. I see the moon here, so something is hidden. We do have this lunar eclipse. I'm going to get one more message. Thank you, spirit. The message came up. So what do we have? What is that? Oh, this is the Ace of Swords. So you see that? So with this Ace of Swords taking your power. So you see knowledge is power. And books always represent wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, lessons, teaching, learning. So this is what you've learned. You've learned in this experience. Um, you know, that you deserve reciprocity. Um, also that you need to take control of your own subconscious thoughts and to not allow others to control you. Um, you have to be very uh, intuitive, conscientious of what the, you know, what decisions you're making. Um, that Ace of Swords also provides you the power to cut yourself free from anything that does not serve you. This also could be very indicative of your journals that you were keeping, your liveries where you were writing down your manifestations and those things are coming into fruition for you because you maintain that hope, that optimism. We see we have the knave of pentacles. So there is something tangible, something being offered. This is also just really speaking to you know, you're setting your foundation. You've reestablished a solid foundation and there are blessings. There are uh, opportunities. There are good conversations coming in surrounding money, finance, uh, tangibles. You know, if you're waiting for news on closing on a home, you're going to hear it. If you're waiting on approval for a car you're going to hear it's like there's good news coming in so what we have on the bottom of my deck and then we're going to wrap it up we have rare breed black sheep mr understood misunderstood so i did mention that i believe i mentioned that 
in the reading that you all are uh, different. Uh, matter of fact, Nas played rare. And that's when I said you all were rare breeds. So that makes you different. You're like diamonds in the rough. You're a rare find. You won't bump into you again in this lifetime. Perhaps someone you're attracting could be from a past lifetime. Whatever the case may be, you're different. You're unique. There's a mystique around you. There's people who adore you. But then on the flip side of that, there's people that can't stand you because of your light. You aggravate and irritate their demons. So that energy of you being rare also tells me that you all are chosen. You're anointed. Because most rare people are misunderstood people. And my throat is getting, <coughs> getting, <coughs> pardon me, getting blocked. So somebody trying to block this message and I'm going to tell you like a TIS. So when most people have those type of, um, you know, those, that type of history where they may feel misunderstood in their family or they feel alone, that's because you are a chosen one. You're the one perhaps in your family lineage that is to break the cycle or to, you know, break the generational curse or cut the yoke or whatever it is. You are here to do business greater than <clears throat> whatever you may be doing. It's spiritual. It's a spiritual um, anointing or some sort of spiritual awakening that is um, going to trigger your interest in perhaps being a vessel to other people, some spiritual awakening you may have had through a failed relationship or toxic family dynamic. Those are things that awaken you to who you are, to your purpose, to your passion. And I just saw 14040, which is 144. So the 144,000 is typically how people will, you know, will, um, um, explain, those who are anointed or chosen. So you are rare, you know, you are rare, <clears throat> excuse me. And we have Barry White, and this is called playing your game, baby playing. And we're about to clarify the card for 96 forgiveness, eight um, trapped in fear and this uh, Knight of pentacles. So someone was definitely playing a lot of games. Um, and now they have regrets, you know, now they, they, they have some sort of regrets. All right, too many cards have fallen out, but I'm going to see what I do. <clears throat> so the first card I saw that flew out was Mirror Reflects, and it says, can they be a reflection or the shadow side of yourself, and, uh, of you? Check yourself. So this is exactly what I was picking up. I, I mentioned mirrors and reflection earlier, and I am gathering that with playing your game, you was dealing with someone who was a player player from the Himalaya. Someone could have been projecting the fact that they were a player onto you, perhaps accusing you of cheating when they know that's what they was doing, just playing a lot of games. That's what, you know, manipulation is, a, a master manipulator. They will not take onus, but they will project all day, project, deflect, and, you know, stonewall, ghost you. Those are also, you know, narcissistic traits and characteristics. So some of you all were dealing with this type of energy. And with the mirror reflex, I feel that's the work that you all had to do, taking that internal, you know, self audit to see like, okay, why is this feeling so uncomfortable? Why am I constantly sad, crying? Why am I constantly stressed out? Love is not supposed to be this way. Like you started to really do some deep diving. And I feel the more you did that, the more you realized that this connection was absolutely volatile. And so that's where this Knight of Pentacles is coming. Uh, something was taking a long time and you were stressing over it. Maybe you was expecting someone to propose. Maybe you was expecting the relationship to go to the next level. Maybe you was expecting someone to say, hey, I want you to be my lady. I want you to be my man. And when it didn't happen, you had to not only forgive that person, but you also had to forgive yourself because when you looked back in awareness, you realized how you were being treated. You know, this five that these cards break down to absolutely shows that there had to be that moment um, where you had to learn, you know, you had that, that's a teachable moment. You had to mature. Maybe you were still healing parts of your childish, um, your, your childhood, you know, um, healing your inner child, I should say you know, from your childhood. So there was that, that work that was being done there perhaps. And I feel like now you can see who you are because you have to heal that shadow side and you have to embrace the shadow as you do the light. 
um, because that's what brings you balance. You know, that's that's who we all are made up of. So what we have is preying on your downfall. Watch them. Secret admirer um, loves what they see. That's the card for how they feel about you. Praying on your downfall is the card for who or what you're attracting. Karma Dharma, you reap what you sow. Sowing in good faith. We have the Trinity. And then we also have the feather. And I mentioned the feather. So let's go here. So praying on your downfall. So this could be the reason, the very reason why someone is finally saying it's time to end something. Because they realize, as I said, they were sleeping with the enemy. Um, and not only are they fleeing a situation based off the fact that they feel they're sleeping with their enemy, but they also realize like this was a lesson. This was something that they were to learn from, grow from. It could have been a karmic situation uh, where they're just there to learn the lessons and, and carry on. But I see that someone is kind of finally making a decision to move away, move on and move into something new. And they do take the leap. They take that leap and they exit a situation you can see the door the chapter to their past is closed shut so they've made a decision and this world also uh include you know insinuates that there could be some distance um there could be some travel this could be someone from as i said a different um country it could be someone from a different ethnic background maybe someone has a different age group but i am feeling like there's something new someone is leaving someone and they're embarking on something new something something different how someone feels about you is they are secretly admiring you this is that same person that could be learning and studying from you as well uh, someone with whom you've triggered some sort of awakening or understanding they love what they see because what you embody is everything um, that they look for you you are confident you're self-loving, you're wise, you're successful, you're abundant, um, you are a go-getter, and you're not afraid to change and transform your life. They see you as someone has definitely like emerged as someone different. You've taken on a completely different role. My nose is itching like crazy. Um, you've taken on a completely different um, role, and, and this person sees you now like, aha. It's like they have this sort of like this wake up call. Like I said, they, they love what they see. They couldn't see you before, but they see you now as this divine feminine. This is, you know, pre emperor status. And that shows that you've worked your behind off to get to this place because you went from a place where you were broken, where you had a lack of self esteem or self um, love. And you had to really channel and hone in on that creative energy in order to pull yourself out of this type of depression, you know, and you did just that. And you also learned to forgive yourself. You learned to forgive those who knew not what they were doing, you know, forgive the people that almost kind of put you in that status. And now you're in the space where you are very powerful. They see you as very powerful. They see you as someone very strong, someone who's built you know, you rebuilt on a more solid foundation after some sort of tower. What's hidden is we have karma dharma. Remember, we saw that five, 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 and I said 20, and that's judgment. Well, that's exactly what karma is. Karma dharma is all about judgment call. So whoever was learning from you, that same person that's blocked, that's feeling blocked by a devil. Maybe this is a devil that was trying or attempting to block you. What's happening is you see them for who they are and you make a decision. If you were juggling or struggling with a decision it's like you see now um who you're dealing with someone dangerous someone envious someone hateful someone that has you know this this visceral someone that's seething at your growth or seething at your extension at your stability and they're trying to snuff you out snub you but what you're doing is you're going to move on with upwards and onwards forward this is you you know being more uh determined being more willful this is you asserting yourself this is also opportunities presenting themselves but you're bolting the hell up away from anything that could be toxic if this isn't your energy this is whoever you're attracting to you and i feel it's because whoever you were with or whatever you was around or whoever this person you're attracting to you is with or around they were blocking something blocking blessings blocking opportunities blocking your success blocking love but this could even be spirit just delaying something because there's a very volatile energy in your presence and spirit is not going to bliss you when you got this type of you know negativity 
trying to um, manipulate. So this is why these things are coming in quickly. The wheel represents what's destined. Uh, this could be, you know, financial blessings, rewards, but this is, you're getting what you are due because it says you reap what you sow and you sowed in good faith. So when you sow in good faith, blessings, opportunities, wish fulfillments, all of those things could start working their way towards you. Lastly, we have for your outcome, we have the Trinity and the feather. The Trinity represents man, woman, and child. This rounded portion is the woman, the fallopian tubes, these portion here is the children, and this here represents the masculine. So the ankh, that represents the tree of life, the trinity, and this feather. So there is a sense that spirit could be aligning you with a very beautiful, solid type of family. As I said, I feel like you're being aligned with your purpose, with your person, perhaps with your tribe, your soul tribe, your people, but this is because you have elevated. This is because you have this completion. So you've been learning as well. You've been learning, you've been growing, and you've definitely mastered um, something because you are seen as a very powerful, and spiritually strong individual soul so you are being aligned with something very beautiful and I feel it's because you took onus and accountability you took the time to stop look back in awareness reflect change make the necessary changes grow not be a victim it's like you saw things for what they were and this ace of swords helped you see things clearly so this uh, allowed you to cut the cords and the yokes. As I said, those generational co uh, curses, those people that were kind of riding your coattail, people that were being manipulative, maybe even people who abandoned you, whatever the case may be, it's like coming out of victim state into, you know, I am a victor state. But this is a beautiful energy because now you are all in your power. A lot of you could be finding feathers, uh, a lot of you may be seeing feathers in your dreams. Uh, this card says feather protection and love from your guardian angels. So if you are finding feathers, seeing feathers, this is what your angels are leaving you to give you that push, that nudge, that it is already all right. And remember when I was saying patience is a form of action? Well, here it is reiterated for you or uh, affirmed, <laughs> confirmed because it's on the bottom of the deck. So patience is a form of action. Stay diligent. So whatever you are working on, whatever you are doing, Spirit is saying, keep at it. Don't get discouraged. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Like this is the energy that I'm getting. Stay diligent means to stay in your purpose. But this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. I hope that you enjoyed this deep dive, beloveds. And for all of my beloveds who are new, if you enjoyed my reading, if you enjoyed the way I read, if this message resonated with you in any way, please, please, please reciprocate the gesture of love. Like the button, I mean, like the video, uh, subscribe, and definitely share if you feel so inclined to all of my beloveds who are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Send a big fat ashe, y'all. Peace, y'all.